the ladder, the ladder. And the ladder is the ladder of opportunity. Now, the government has an important role. And the government's role is to hold the ladder, which means to protect our rights, to provide a basic safety net, to provide an external environment of security. But how far you climb on the ladder, that's up to you. That's d based on your ability, your talent, your effort, and frankly, a little bit of luck. So that means some guys may get up to the third rung on the ladder and some other guys may get up to the seventh rung, but at the end of the day, the politics of the ladder is about keeping that ladder standing for people to make their lives better. But it is up to you. The other politics on the other side, the politics of the left, I'm going to call it the politics of the rope. And on the face of it, it's a more attractive politics than the latter for this reason. Basically, you have a bunch of guys who are on top of a big building. And they look at the poor, black, brown people down there, and they say, listen, listen, we have a rope. We're going to let the rope down. You hang on to it. We'll pull you up. So on the first glance, you go, wow, the rope is better. Because in the latter, I actually have to climb. In the rope, I just hang on. But then, if you're smart and you watch this for a little while, you realize, number one, this is a little bit of a dicey bargain. Because I'm totally dependent on the fellow up there holding the rope. If he lets go, down I go. And second of all, I've been watching this rope for a while, and I notice a lot of people are being pulled, but they never get to the top. They never, I never see them climb onto the building where the guys who are holding the rope are. They seem somehow to be hanging in perpetual limbo. I think at the end of the day, as Americans, we have this choice. Do we actually want an America of the ladder, or do we want an America of the rope? Because the America of the rope is the path, I think, of dependency. And ultimately, that dependency destroys your dignity. Why? Because at the end of the day, the only real self-esteem can be in earned achievement. The only self-esteem is, is, is the pride of the kid who goes, I struggled with that math problem and I figured it out and I did it. And so I feel good about myself and it's going to motivate me to do the next one because I'm ready to tackle that challenge. It is that sense of earned achievement, I think, that drives our motivation and creativity as human beings. Lincoln was elected to unite a country and stop slavery. Democrats smeared him, went to war against him, assassinated him. Now their target is Trump. They say he's a racist, a fascist. But who are the real racists and fascists? A nation?